Second Dinner said that they wanted some feedback on this mode, so I'm gonna give them some feedback on this mode. Find out what's going on as I hear by summon all my imps to join me on my adventures through Marvel Snap. Hey everybody, it's Annabelle. So, uh, Second Dinner announced that in the future they're going to bring out leagues. In fact, it's actually in the whole, I wanna say alpha beta of Marvel Snap right now. If you're running in certain uh, locations, you can actually play it right now. I'm not one of these people. I reside in the US. I'm not a high enough creator where I get kind of any early access. I don't get paid by anybody. So this is just the, I, the information I've picked up from this so far. Wanted to give it a little bit of time to marinate. Wanted to get enough information on this. Wanted to look through this and not just go on gut reaction. But after looking through all the information, after looking at all the things that I could find about the new League mode, I just gotta say to Second Turner, what were you thinking? Who was this for? In case you haven't found out, figured out, this is going to be a rant on the League's. So this is going to be a complete and total rant. I'm just going to go off. So, Second Turner, why? Why did you do this? This, this, this mode is so ugly, this, this idea is so ugly, that I can't not believe it came from you. This is something that I expect from Honkai Sorrel, this is something that I expect from Raid Shadow Legends, this is something I expect from Candy Crush. This, this is so money grubbing, and so ugly looking that I can't believe it comes from you. This whole league thing, it, it just taints what Second Dinner is, and it mostly just comes from the event perks. You literally have a perk in the event perks that says, pay us money not to lose. The other, or another way that you could say that is pay us to win. This is legitimately a pay to win feature. Why did you put a pay to win feature here? And I know the quick answer is you want money or you want a gold sink. And that's what scares me more about this is the fact that someone, if you put this in, in the game, people are going to throw money at this. And if this becomes a thing, first of all, it's going to be coming to the point where you're going to see these events run every three days, every four days. As soon as an event's done, a new event's going to come out because that gets some gold. Other one, also, I could see it coming somewhere in the future where all of a sudden you're in a normal match, you lose your game, and this big pop-up window that comes up says, hey, would you like not to lose cubes this particular match? Give us 150 gold and you don't lose cubes this match. Or in Conquest, you, you're going through Gold Conquest or, or Infinite Conquest and you lose on Infinite Conquest and it says, hey, do you want to retry this Infinite Conquest on the same rate that you are? Give us 200 gold. There's other ways to make gold in the game. There's other gold sinks that you can put into the game without going this kind of scummy. And what's for the longest time in Marvel Snap, there's always been a discussion about Marvel Snap having things behind the scene where the game quote unquote cheats where all of a sudden you face up against a deck that completely destroys your deck or all of a sudden the uh, locations are just horrible for whatever you're playing or you, you face a move deck and all of a sudden you see Aunt May show up it's like how did they know that Aunt May was going to show up when they played this move deck or all of a sudden their deck plays flawlessly or on turn one they play this card and then on turn two they play this card and you're just like I love I've tried to play that deck and it always doesn't work out for me that way you know Mr. Negative is a great example of that but for the longest time you could sit back there and defend it and say what was second dinner's reasoning to do that in the game and now here's the reason it gets the money so if if they do this, the worst part about these perks is this, if you do buy the perks, which aren't the cheapest in the world, there are 350 gold to buy them, and it's 30 minutes, and it's not 30 minutes in-game 
time. It's 30 minutes from the time at which you click it from everything I've looked at. So from the time you click that, even until you get into the first game, you're just clicking down that clock. So what is second dinner's? Why wouldn't it second dinner take every single bot that they have? Every single thing that they can do with a buck and make it so that buck, when these events are running, go down and burn that rope to the very last second. Go to the very last millisecond to make you waste your gold on this. What is a player's advantage or disadvantage? If, they, if a player doesn't like this at all, if, if I don't like this as a player and I see that makes her up, why shouldn't I burn the rope down to the very last second just to annoy the person that I'm playing against? Maybe they'll retreat against me and I'll get a free cube or two off of it. That is something that you shouldn't be encouraging. This is going to lead to win trading. All you have to do is get two people, three people, a cabal set up where if you have a certain mode up and you have a certain uh, title up, if you have advantage on game one, on the first turn, whoever has advantage just wins and whoever doesn't have advantage just concedes the game to get them done quickly. And what's really frustrating about this is somebody's gonna pay the blood money and even if you do pay the blood money even if you want the reward off of this the rewards off this aren't that great so here are the rewards that i've seen so far for this coming up let's get this one down and i think it's this one down hang on So basically the only one that is worth getting, worth receiving, is the top reward. And the only reason that's worth receiving is because it's got a key on it. If you don't get the top reward, even if you come in second, even if you were to take these values as the top values of, of 8,000, gold for a um, for a gold for a golden random variant and a thousand collectors tokens and 310 boosters for coming in even in sec second place that is only worth 35 dollars and the best of days and that's me being generous about to be our reward for even coming in second if you take how much it costs for a shield and you take how much it costs for you to have the double boosters on if you play more than four hours with both of those on you've spent more than 35 dollars that's how expensive this is why there's a way you could have done this but let, let me let me tell you a way that you could have done this that would have made everybody happy first of all you give everybody the shield no, no, you don't lose points. It's just it just starts on a random day. You play your games. Whatever cubes you win in normal ranked or normal conquest, you also get that same amount of cubes going towards your league. And whenever you lose cubes, you don't lose cubes for your league. And at the end of the event, if you have enough cubes in your in your league reward you can get one of these rewards depending on how high or low that you have this and you set a seat and then at the very end you say hey you want to spend five extra bucks to get this twice as fast spend five extra bucks this twice as fast not for 30 seconds not for 30 minutes not for 30 hours but for the whole event that's a great gold sink here spend 500 gold have two, three days where you, you, you know, matches matter. But that's the thing, even with this, your matches don't matter because even though it's a 32 rank, it's not, here's a 32 um, seed game and you're facing against Bob. And at some point you have to face against Bob. And if you win against Bob, you get to move up in the ranks. And it's a single elimination. That could be even fun and interesting. No, no gold, no nothing. Just a 32 player seed, single elimination. At some point, if you see that somebody's on, you face up against them. And if you won, then you have to wait for somebody on. But that, that's a little bit hard to figure out. But 
that be interesting? No gold involved, but just like, hey, you got first place. This proves that you, you're a really good player. The, the biggest problem that I saw with this, or one of the problems that I saw with this, is during this weekend, I watched a YouTube from, uh, I think it's called Two Cubes or whatever. I'll, I'll link it if I can find it in, 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 the, in the YouTube. They're from over the pond. They're over in England. They're playing the model snap. They have access to the leagues. I look at their scoreboard. Second place has six thousand points first place has 12,000 points double the points I did the calculations I did the math even figuring a normal player playing a normal game even if you played Marvel Sh Snap straight at five minutes a game to get to 12,000 points you would have had to play 10 hours of Marvel Snap straight there's no human being that is playing 12 hours of Marvel Snap straight I don't want to give up 12 hours of my life to play Marvel Snap straight just to get a chance at a variant this is not something that needs to exist if you want to make gold in the game if you want a gold sink in the game, I can give you three good ideas for your gold sink in the game. First good idea, make it so that I can buy a bear whenever I want, whenever I want. I'm sick and tired of not having the variants that I want because they're not in my shop right now. Yes, I understand that the spotlight is supposed to be a whole FOMO thing, but make them more expensive. Let me just buy them whenever I want to, but instead of 700, make them a thousand for the little ones. There's be some ones that I would want. Secondly, make it so that I can rent a card. There's certain cards I'd love to try out. I don't feel like spending 6,000 quarter tokens to try out a card. I'd rather spend some gold on a weekend to, to try a card. And if you want to eliminate the two cards that are in that weekend reward because you don't want people to get gold or quarter tokens, I get that. That's perfectly fine. Third thing, if you really want to make gold, Bring in the first edition stickers again. The first edition stickers that you've been talking about for the longest time. Let me put that first edition stamp on some of my cards. And then tell some of the cards that you said you were never going to sell again because they were supposed to be reserve cards. Put them back up on the auction block. Because then I have the first edition stamp on there. There's a whole bunch of ways to sell gold. To get gold that way. If you want to make mini sinks, you can make mini sinks. Make stuff for 100 gold. Make stuff for 50 gold. If you really want people to get ahead and you want places where gold can go, Make something where on a day you can try out a card for a hundred gold or try out a card for a week for a thousand gold. The, there's ways you can make money without this. This looks ugly, this looks nasty, and I cannot see why you're putting this in the game. Even though you can say no development time in this, some development time had to go into this, and I'd rather second dinner spend on uh, time somewhere else. Anyways, this has been a long rant. I told you it was going to be a rant. I want to thank everybody who did watch this. I want to thank you all so much for watching anything that I make. And as always, remember, play for fun.